Did Fallout 76 get better? Or did they just keep pushing Elder Scrolls online patches? Apparently. Yeah, that's what I mean. New Vegas is best Fallout. That's what Faith tells me too. It sorta got better. Okay. So let's see what exactly happened with Fall Fallout 76. I do know, here's what I know. Cause I actually did follow this quite a bit. I do know that they prompt. I remember when they were hyping the shit up, dude, it was crazy, right? 16 times the detail. And I remember it bombing. Oh, I remember, was that the one? No, that was this the one with the bag? They were, they, they were like promised like a tough bag or something. Okay. So this one was the one with the bag. Yes. Mr. Strummer, I do know I'm about the bag because I saw it on I Twitter. It had 16 times the detail. Kappa. Yeah. I know this because it reminded me of marvel versus capcom infinite which they had a similar promise of these cool looking infinity stones but they were just easter eggs that glue up that glue they were like actually glued to the box so they couldn't take it out they just glowed it was it was bad dude yeah it was on the similar level to mvc that's why i remember it anyways that's all i really remember and they had patches i remember when I watched the Bethesda conference. They were like, we're patching it. We're making it better. You like that. The only decent thing from Fallout 76 was not from the game itself, but the trailer. Reintroduced the internet to country roads. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Country road was the freaking the, the song they used for the trailer, dude. Holy shit. I remember that. Oh, that was such a good trailer. Country road. Take me home. That was good. Okay, let's watch this shit. All right, Fallout 76. Let's watch this. <sighs> what the hell is this? Is he if playing you the film game? this tape, it means that everyone is dead. Or working at a different office. How did this happen? Well, I'll tell you. Buckle up, buckaroos. Today's lesson is the misfired launch of Fallout 76. June 2018. It began with everyone getting just a little hyped up. Have we waited long enough, guys? Oh, God, yes, we have, Todd. I think we have. <laughs> Fallout 76, Bethesda's biggest game. Is it like, dude, the whole point of Fallout being cool was, was due to a mechanic that wasn't in Fallout, right? That's what Faith told me. She's like, I didn't like it because it had the one thing that made Fallout fun was not in this game. And it was the watch, the smart watch. Or, um, yeah, yeah, VATS. That's what it was. It was VATS. That's what it was. Isn't the, isn't, dude, I'm so bad at Fallout. Isn't what makes the slowdown the, the watch? Is that what makes the slowdown? Or no, that's VATS, right? They changed how bat, VAT works. Oh, okay. VATS would be weird in multiplayer. I mean, that makes sense, right? Imagine like, it was the same thing with, uh, you know what it reminded me of? What One of the things that made, um, what was the game called? Red Dead Redemption really cool was like the red eye or dead eye was the slowdown and it, and stuff like that. It didn't, they didn't have that mechanic in the multiplayer. So it's like the same thing. Yet, My God, it was exciting. And they promised we'd know more at E3. E3 hype time, the E3. press conference. So the aiming times when Fallout the is horrible, so VATS helped that. That's what you told me. That's right. The AD, the aim down the sights is fucking atrocious in Fallout. So they use VATS to be able to make up for it. And now that VATS is gone, like, fuck this game, you know? The detail. 16 times the detail. All new rendering lighting and landscape technology four times the map size it is four times the size of fallout 4 and it's our biggest one yet my god it was exciting <laughs> oh November god here we go 14th 2018 oh god here the we game go. goes live with a day oh, no. one patch of 50 gigabytes for fuck's sake 50. i'll see you tomorrow but once that's downloaded, people start logging into the hellscape that is Fallout 76. And oh dear lord, they never fix the bugs. Um. And there are so many of them. Goodbye world, goodbye necks, goodbye oh. body, goodbye heads, bugs, bugs, bugs everywhere. Server crashes, game crashes, ah. old bugs and poor from Fallout 4. Oh my dear more god. Than one at time. Dude. <laughs> I wish I could say the Street Fighter 6 character customization was due to bugs, but they did that shit on purpose. 
They should have just given them all the curse shit and just made it a feature. Make the bugs a feature, bro. Just give in. You're never going to be able to like fix any bugs. That's just how it is. Just make it a feature, bro. Featuring the bug mechanic. Access this to find bugs. You know, stuff like that, right? I literally spent $80 on this game pre-order. We'll never pre-order any game ever again. Yeah, you, you were kind of cooked. I mean, like granted this is probably the worst company to pre-order from because i think they did something similar with like a helmet right it was like the fallout helmet and it didn't fit them at all or was that another one wait it was the same game okay um, servers did i thought that was like fallout 3. oh texture's far too texturous and all consuming oh, i thought that was void. fallout 3. Airlock 307. all right it's in the video can't okay. pick up stuff can't stop asserting dominance with a t-pose <laughs> Frame rate problems, keep posing zombies, problems, getting too swole, getting underneath the map, nah, dude, that's getting a good, attacked that's by invisible thing. enemies, spawning too many enemies. It kind of speaks uh, for itself. Spawning too many god rays. Also, your camp resets after every session, and sometimes it goes underwater. Holotapes randomly play static, but too many holotapes mean none of them will play. Enemy AI is far more A than I. Animations are broken. <laughs> Surprise. More A than I, you know what I mean? Traveling merchant. Just to name a few. Joseph Anson has a great video that documents just the ones that he found personally. That video is three hours long. Holy shit. Bethesda, hire this guy, dude. He's literally documenting your shit. Hire this guy. He'll find everything you want. All that you want. Um, By the way, can I tell you something? It's like my dream to buy a AAA blockbuster game and be the first streamer to find some crazy game-breaking shit. Oh, it, it's like, dude, that's the equivalent for me. That's the equivalent of being on ecstasy, dude. I'm like, oh. Mr. Storm, I want to be that, to speak. that stream, you know? As a game tester, I'm ashamed to not have three hours of footage in one go. <laughs> yeah, dude, step up your game, bro. It gets worse. Error CE348780 can corrupt your uh, data and you to reinstall the game and console operating system. A few PC players had their computers brick entirely. Also, when the oh, date rolled shit. over to the 1st of January 2019, um, the nukes in the game stopped working altogether. Oh, there's no one nukes in the game? Program in other years in an always online game. There's a battle royale. And a few players like were shit. straight up logging into other people's accounts. This guy had a level 78 character that was randomly replaced with a level 8 character. Bethesda said they couldn't do anything about it. <laughs> what? And many players are not thrilled with this Oh game, my god, dude. Talk about a review bomb. That. And they want everyone else to know. A review nuke. It's more like it. Know that too. But Bethesda owns the platform. Is Fallout 76 fun? Yes, it is. Banned for racism. Thread locked. <laughs> Ah, oh, shit, dude, the typical Bethesda or PR response. Yes, it is fun. Racist. Ban. They had no direct outlet for their rage. <laughs> the only solution was to put a torch to everything else. Reddit. Twitter. Bethesda's other games on Steam. Oh my god, they went to other games too? Dude, I'm telling you, when the mob gets angry, they get angry, dude. They need a place to circle jerk. They need a place to be able to chamber their echoes you know what i mean the backlash wow. was immense i'm not gonna lie though this is one of those situations where it's kind of justified like fuck bethesda for doing this dude seriously but surely level heads would prevail the reviewers would come out and say that the game isn't so bad oh dear <laughs> lord they hate it oh god this is so sad despacito play country roads <laughs> You just called the toaster oven Despacito? Bro. <laughs> That's funny. Almost heaven. West Virginia. Blue Ridge Mountains. Is the Filthy Frank cover? What the hell? And the YouTube community had this to say. It's really fucking boring. I could barely bring myself hey, to Hey, Angry play Joe. It. I used to watch a lot of Angry Joe, actually. I don't watch because I don't watch as many YouTube videos anymore. But I used to watch a lot of Angry Joe back in the day. 
in order to finish this review. No one on staff wants to play any more of this video game. I'm not gonna subject myself to another 20, 30 hours of this fucking mess. Oh yeah, I, I do see Angry Joe a lot on my timeline and stuff. He's mostly doing a lot of, um, like, show reviews and movie reviews, which is cool. But they're really long and I don't have time, unfortunately. In short, Fallout 76 watch them, is morally, technically, and creatively bankrupt. The mods on Bethesda forums were working over time. The mods on Reddit almost gave up. Look, I'm not saying that some people didn't enjoy and have fun with this game. But what I am saying is that the Metacritic was really funny to read. So what? <laughs> Yo, I love this guy, dude. <laughs> I'm not saying it's bad or good. I'm just think it's really fucking funny that everyone went at this shit. Like they killed their babies. What happened? Well, it came out that development was hugely rushed. The deadlines were oh, tight. Really? too tight. Damn. Plus, this wasn't Her the shoe first size too small, obviously. Yeah, it's actually a relatively right. inexperienced division based in Austin, and the scope of the game kept getting bigger. We're gonna need distant weather systems. Hey, Todd. I wait, 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 wait. It's actually a relatively inexperienced division based in Austin, and Dallas the scope and of Austin. the game kept getting bigger. We're gonna need distant weather systems. Hey Todd, I stayed up all night and I just We're finished. We're gonna need 16 times the detail. Please, Todd, no more. We're gonna need four times the size of Fallout 4. That and they were trying to patchwork the old Bethesda creation engine into a multiplayer framework. Yeah. What else could you expect? That's why I give my kids Fallout 76. The fool. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> now, Bethesda could tolerate the bugs and the bad reviews and the irate players, but what they couldn't tolerate were the exploits. Um, infinite inventory, infinite invisibility. The frame rate was tied to the game speed, so people were going a lot faster than they should. Server hopping for more items, infinite cash and infinite duplication, unlimited XP, unlimited nuking. The nuclear codes were unencrypted and you could wall clip into the quest room. And someone was given the curse of infinite invincibility. Naturally, this can really mess with other players' online experience. So Bethesda was ready with the ban hammer this just and a blindfold to wildly <laughs> flail the around to take down anyone who happened Oh, on. God. But Bethesda wasn't satisfied with just banning people. No, they're a progressive company with big ideas. They wanted to give a road to redemption. So support sent out this email to players caught cheating. We would be willing to accept an essay on why the use of third-party cheat software is detrimental to an online game community. Oh, shut the fuck up, dude. These pretentious pricks, dude. We will accept a thesis. MLA format, single-spaced, as to why you cheated, and tell us why you're never going to do it again. These motherfuckers, dude. That's right. 500 words on why you're a very naughty boy. Yeah, dude, And they may fuck just you. give you your account back. But a couple of days later, the mocking from news outlets caused them to reconsider this approach. Yeah, dude, thank God. One more exploit. In all the Bethesda games, there's a dev room. Every item in the game is kept here. Security has to be top notch because otherwise, someone could just waltz in and take all of the best as items a developer in the game and it would be an absolute. Wait, 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 wait. Go, go back. Do that again. To reconsider this approach. One more exploit. In all the Bethesda games, there's a dev room. Every item in the game is kept here. Security has to be top notch because otherwise, oh, wow, really? someone could just waltz in and take all of the best items in the game and it would be an absolute disaster. Well, shit. Of course, Bethesda wasn't equipped to deal with the issue. They got in? People started flooding in, taking the best items in the game, then selling those items on a black market of sorts. Of course! Of course! At first, they tried the usual approach. Banning people who had some of the best items in the game. You spent 700 hours just to get the best gun? Die, cheater! Next, they oh, put in a system that where sucks, players would get dude. tagged if they ever entered the room. And they banned those players. That wasn't much better because people would just start using Smurf accounts. Get in quick with a level 1 account. Get all that good shit. Then get the fuck out. Then use a duplication glitch to get a ton more of those items. Then transfer that stuff to your main account and you're good to go. But 
I didn't even think about that. Dude, Bethesda's fucked, dude. Their 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 communities are a bunch of super villains. Dude, they're fucked, bro. Bethesda then takes out this level one and calls it mission accomplished. And you've just beaten the game. So the problem continued. Bethesda is running out of ideas to solve it. There's a lot of speculation. And what the hell do they do? They just media and among players about how exactly people are getting and but no one except for the exploiters knows for sure that said bethesda needs to act fast before it ruins the economy of the game yeah so they wrote another email and sent it out to the smurfs <clears throat> uh, hello cheetah do you want to tell us how you did it and we might unban you please <laughs> should we not hear back from you the account will simply remain suspended no way it's not yeah <laughs> They literally had to ask him? Hey, uh, how'd you do that? <laughs> they had to ask him? That's hilarious. I've known whether this approach worked, but from what I've seen, it's XD, still nice try, to the dev room. <laughs> November 22nd, 2018. Just so what happened? Did they actually, I wonder if they actually solved it. If did any of them write back, they're like, oh yeah, I'll show you. There's gotta be one that wants to lick Bethesda's ass, right? A week after the release, the game goes on discount. From 60 to 40. I've seen this shit for $2. $1.99. $1.99! dollars I guess not, because you can still get in. Oh. To 35. To 30. You can find it for 15 on eBay, and in Germany, they're straight up giving it for free when you buy a PlayStation controller. <laughs> also, some stores are just zip-tying it to other products. <laughs> but to Bethesda, it's worth selling the thing at a price close to zero, because it brings people into the Atomic Shop, which is where the real margins are, and it inflates the poor sales figures. Let's have a look at those. Micro the transactions. Show 76 or less than a sixth of what Fallout 4 did. <laughs> not good. Whoa. There's also been a massive oversupply of hard copies. Although Two bucks. Point? I'm telling you right now. a hard copy when the thing is just a cardboard disc telling you to redeem an online code. And while sales are low, returns are high. Immediately upon release, people began asking Bethesda for a refund. 76 is not on Steam. It's on Bethesda's own platform. So they oh, have really? control. If players Thank only play the game for a few hours, then generally they'd get their money back. Wait, what? What happened? It was a nice one. That wasn't mad. That was 100% happening in software development. Devs will pay people to get in, tell them how they get in. That's crazy. That was a nice one, though. I wasn't. I bought the Fallout 76 Xbox. Wait, what'd you do with it? Did you sell it? You return it? Bought an Xbox? That was, a, of course, before you met me. I would have never let you do that shit. Because it was cheaper than an Ultra Blu-ray. Oh, you wanted a Blu-ray player. Okay, that makes sense. However, I would have never told that you to do that sometimes shit, bro. getting refunds after a full 24 hours of play. Quite generous. But okay, what did you say? Sorry, 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 sorry. They'd get their money back. However, it came out that people were sometimes getting refunds after a full... 24 hours of play. Quite generous. But then word about this spread to forums. Then to Reddit. And Apocalypse got incoming? Yo, base profit. Base profit chatter, bro. Or commenter. Reddit or whatever this the fuck this thing is. Half thousand upvotes informing people that this made pretty much everyone eligible for a refund and the comments told them exactly how to do it. Bethesda was flooded with requests for refunds. Oof. And their response? Shut it down, lads. No, no, no one gets a refund now. Everyone go home. Show's over. Robot customer service man, engage. <laughs> I know that thing. Customers who have downloaded the game are not eligible for a refund. We apologize for the inconvenience. Die. What? <laughs> a few things followed. First, people got mad. One hardcore gamer even trashed a GameStop for refusing his refund. Okay, that's a little much. All right, that's a... All right, come on, bro. There's, it's not their fault. Come on, man. Don't make an ass out of yourself. Thank you for calling me. Stop this, Brian. How can I help you? Bruh. A bit of an overreaction. Yeah, but seriously. probably also fake. Second, the media. Bad press. 
and third, a class action lawsuit. Their inconsistent refund policy and terms of service yeah, dude. may not be strictly legal. November 27th, 2018. Miglasio and Rathod LLP filed a class action suit on behalf of Got him. Media quickly picked up on that. Yeah. <laughs> Their main argument Yo, is that it's a sometimes railed. unplayable game owing to its technical problems. Then they're refusing refunds and that Bethesda is engaged in a strategy to release it anyway <laughs> and then slowly... Can I tell you something? I absolutely fucking love the Will Smith presenting meme. It's like one of it. I love it. Patch their way into a more playable state. Updates on this lawsuit are slow, so I'll keep you informed on the second channel. Ad time. Look, there's a meteor headed straight to Earth. Oh my oh, is this god. Ad? We must do something. Was anyone curious enough to read about it online? Not me. Not me either. Nope. Oh no! Now people think I'm dumb and I have died a virgin. <laughs> Don't let this happen to you. Get Curiosity Street. It's a streaming platform with some of the best documentaries and non-fiction from around the world. Partial nudity? Maybe if you look hard enough. But more importantly... <laughs> Dude! The most arousing thing of all. Knowledge. Works for your Roku, Android, etc., etc. It works on everything, okay? Science, nature, history, tech, society. CuriosityStream.com Okay, actually, real talk chat. I actually want this shit. Hold on a minute. Real talk, hold on. Dude. I'm not fucking with you. I've been looking for a place where there's good ass documentaries. I'm not even kidding. Oh, it won't let me access their catalog? Unless I pay first? Oh. Oh, okay. Dude, it's only two bucks, um, three bucks a month. What? Dude, that's sick. Well, either way, okay. Com slash I, I have it. I have it. Don't worry. I have access it. To I have it. I'm going to Top speak. Documentary. Use his link so he can reap the profits. Then Kappa. Oh yeah. Oh, oh, oh yeah. 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 There we go. Okay. How about you go over here? Yeah. Wow, that's sick, dude. Okay. Trees and non awesome. series. Use the promo code internet. Hey, you should also subscribe to uh, Twitch.tv backslash coefficient. That'd be nice. A store in during the sign up process to get the first work. 30 days I mean, yeah, free, dude, if it's a good product, any time. Wink, Pl please. Look, I need, I need sponsors. I, I bought a lifetime supply of toilet paper, thinking I was saving money, but then I left it out in the rain <laughs> and the pros got it, and now I'm back to square one. Please, curiositystream.com/slash/internetstore. Ads over. Let's rewind a little bit. Fallout fans made their pre-orders, and the most dedicated pre-ordered the power. Oh, oh yeah, right. Oh, you're a G, Xtora. Thank you so much, bro. You're awesome. This is before... Tw this video is from 2019? Did he just fucking predict the toilet paper shit? What? I'm actually like my mind is being blown right now. Are you shitting me? He actually did. <sighs> when was COVID again? 18, 19? Oh shut. There's no fucking way you just said that to me. COVID was the end of 19. You you guys are fucking with me, right? COVID should be 19, hence the 19. <laughs> At the end of that. 
It was the end of 2019. It's COVID 19, so 2019. <laughs> All right, I get you guys. I'm surrounded by fucking children. Power Armor Edition. Wow. It came with a helmet, box, map, army toys, and a genuine West Tech canvas bag. Oh, here's the bag. Fast forward to the release. Here's the bag. And customers noticed that their precious bags, which are supposed to be made of the finest canvas and land, Ooh, yummy. look a bit different. Bruh. In fact, it looks like a carry bag the real bag should come in. Bruh. Do they really just advertise one thing and deliver another? Can't do that. So there was a surge of backlash, and people began emailing Bethesda, asking for refunds, asking for Mr. Answers. Strummer, I'm going to speak. The first case of COVID was in 2019, though. Dude, this is why I'm telling you guys to look into context, because I'm saying that he predict the shit with toilet paper, and that shit didn't happen until 2020. Yes, the first cases was in 2019, but that it didn't come over to the states until like March, where it actually started and it fucking spread like wildfire. And some people were too fucking stupid to not get ready for this shit, so we ended up like killing uh, hundreds of thousands of people because of it. So, anyways. By this point, customer service is absolutely over it. They are done with the facade, and they send this email in response. Hello. We are sorry that you aren't happy with the bag. The bag shown in the media was a prototype and was too expensive to make. We aren't planning on doing anything about it. What? That Mr. Strummer, I'm going to speak. He also what? made a video about the toilet paper. It's called Tales from the Forest. I did see that. I saw that when I was scrolling through Internet Historian stuff. Tales from the va Varus. Varus. I wiped with McDonald's napkins for like a month. I actually didn't have a shortage. We actually had enough toilet paper. I didn't know what was... I, I thought it was just a meme. I mean, like, you would go to stores and they wouldn't have any. But we had plenty. You know? I had a bidet. You lucky son of a bitch, dude. I fucking love bidets. When that stream of, like, water shoots up my ass and cleans it... <sighs> feels good. That's the whole email. Staff at Bethesda aren't even hiding their contempt anymore. Naturally, the internet goes the wild. Is that Brian Are Cranston throwing a pizza? I didn't know about that. I use wipes. Wipes are pretty good too, actually. But they're not, some of them aren't flushable, so you gotta be careful with that. Unless you throw away your, <laughs> your shit-stained wipes. I guess you can do that. It's fucking weird, though. Thing me? Wow. Wow. Well, I got so mad, I shaved everything off my face. <laughs> what the fuck is that guy? Yeah, <laughs> he became bald. He molded. Okay, he guys, literally this molded. This is a bit of a PR nightmare. We have to quell the outrage. What do we do? Well, we've got this in game currency. Let's just give them the minimum amount of that. Fantastic idea. Hear ye, hear ye. Anyone who paid two to three hundred dollars for the Power Armor Edition is hereby entitled to five dollars worth of in-game currency that you'll be able to spend with us. Five hundred atoms? Fuck yeah! What are you gonna do with your atoms? I'm gonna buy five eighteenths of the white paint version of the Power Armor. Whoa! What about you? Light wood laminate. Light wood laminate. Light wood laminate. <gasps> Fuck the bag. He's right. Fuck the bag. Light wood laminate. Light wood laminate. Dude, who runs their HR? Who runs their PR? Who is in charge? Dude, people got fired. No, scratch that. People got fucking murdered over this shit. There's no fucking way. There's no way that they did this shit and nothing happened because of it. There's no way. Of course, this was Bethesda's fantasy of what would happen. What really happened is further outrage, and even the media started piling on. Oh yeah. Almost heaven, where's Virgin it even became part of that class action lawsuit from earlier. Yep. Bethesda put out a tweet apologizing for their curt customer service and gave a different excuse for why they didn't make the bags. A shortage of material, apparently. 
that was quickly debunked. Because it turns out they did make the can. The spec. classic! Dude, this shit happened with Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. Same thing. They sent out actual good products to the influencer slash content creator so they can rep it, and then they send out the shitty products to the consumers. The Easter eggs. That's the same thing. That's crazy. Except they gave them all out to influencers. Yeah! Oh dear. It's not the same one, of course, but it's sourced from that ever-scarce material, canvas. But what's more amusing is that it turns out there is a canvas bag in the game. If you don the postman's outfit, which of course can be found at the atom shop, for 700 atoms. <laughs> Ooh, just short. Well, Slap the leaking face, from the bro. online community. What's up, Oasis? How you doing, buddy? Dude, I cannot believe this shit. I'm like, I'm, my mind is being absolutely fucked right now. That is, I, this is worse than I ever would have expected. This is way worse than I ever would have imagined. Everything was 100% justified. Continued, and Bethesda's lawyers realized there would be trouble. So they decided to capitulate. All right, fine. We'll make you a precious fucking bag. If you want to claim it, you'll have to fill out this form with your Wait, name, personal it? details, address, etc., etc. And we'll ship out the bag to you in four to six months. But it doesn't quite end there. Because Bethesda is known for bugs. And of course, I'm their a website is a buggy mess. <laughs> Thank you, Thalric. I appreciate the tier one, buddy. You're awesome, man. I appreciate you uh, supporting the channel and stuff like that. Two. Turns out all of the My customer brain. support inquiries are unsecure and open to the public. In fact, people can open and close and change them at will. Listed are details of full legal names, phone numbers, home addresses, and more. If you've requested your canvas bag, you've just been doxxed. How the fuck? Is this company still going? Whee! Not knowing how to immediately fix the problem, Bethesda panics and temporarily shuts down the whole website. And I mean, that yeah, is the tale of the duffel kerfuffle. <laughs> duffel how did kerfuffle. This so difficult. They made one for New Vegas. One last piece of merch: a rum drink, Nuka Cola Dark. Pre-orders available in September. Shipped out on November 14th, $80 plus postage and handling. Not cheap, but in return you got a very cool bootle. Looks bootle. good on the shelf. A great conversation piece with the family over Thanksgiving. Or at least it would have been. November 14th came and went, and there was no rum. Uh, okay. A week later on November 21st, an email comes through. There's a delay. Things aren't up to the usual fallout standard, they say. The usual fallout standard. All of this just works. Things aren't up to the usual fallout standard. So we'll have it for you soon. No specific date given. <laughs> One week later. Nothing. Then on December 5th, another email. Good news. We start shipping on December 12th. It's been nearly three months since you pre-ordered, but as a show of good faith, we made this promotional video for you. And this is where things went from tardy to retardy. <laughs> right there. Did you catch that? That's just a regular industry bottle and a plastic shell. Oh, wait, what? That's just a regular industry bottle and a plastic shell. <gasps> We paid $80 and waited a quarter of a year. What? Year for a plastic shell? People were not happy. Look at that ratio. Wow, that's a big ratio. Nothing in the marketing said that it was a plastic shell. Super premium, we were promised. And the media agreed. People began canceling their orders. Uh, yeah. So the screen tries to convince people that it's not cheap and shitty, 
It actually cost us twice as much to make the plastic one than the glass one. Oh, shut the fuck. <laughs> These guys are so bad. There's no way they actually said this shit. Then what the fuck? We, we spent a hundred hours coding the design. Convincing stuff. So it Dude, you can literally 3D print that shit. For way less. It arrives just a few days before uh, Christmas. The rum is about the quality you'd expect. Can I swear on this? It's my own show. Ah. Worse is the design. The oversized lip means liquid can pour in. Oh my God, dude, this is a fucking disaster. I will never play a Bethesda game again. Inside the shell. Hard to pour because how they made this damn thing. I spilled like half the shot. Very dribbly. So you're best off opening the whole thing up to prevent spilling. If you do that, there's a good chance that you'll snap the flimsy plastic. Any liquid will immediately ruin this cheek. From tardy to retardy is not a phrase I ever thought I would hear. But goddamn, does it fit? <laughs> he comes up with some crazy ass phrases I never, ever, ever would ever think of. This freaking internet historian is a legend, dude. Internet legend is more like it. My God, dude. Mr. Strummer, I'm going to speak. So, uh, with all of this in mind, you in the mood for a rousing run through the wastelands of fall at 76? No, oh, fuck no. <laughs> no, I wish I was there at the beginning knowing all this stuff, dude. If I was there at the beginning, forget about it, dude. That would have been so much fun, but it's just not fun anymore. Oh my god, paper sticker. Some made their own at home, and the quality was about on par. But look, if you do want a decent version of this product, there are reputable sellers of them, they're on Etsy. They're far cheaper, and they actually give a shit. No, no, yeah, a hundred percent. Curly, I love you. Recontent smiles sup, buddy. <laughs> thanks, thanks, Buff Shiva. I appreciate the fourteen inches. I appreciate it. Yeah, dude, Etsy actually has some really good stuff. Etsy, like you said, actually gives a shit. <laughs> I actually ordered. There was so on Etsy. Uh, I went to Disney, and in Disney they have these paintings or custom made name like paintings where you can like spell out a name using disney characters dude there's some characters that they can't do and there's some better ones on etsy way better ones and by the way if you end up going to disney don't do that because they can't they're like third party they're not officially licensed by disney so they can't do things like mickey mouse they can't do Minnie, Goofy, Pluto, that shit. Like, those guys, they can't do that shit. And I think some other miscellaneous ones. So, you have to... But if you go on Etsy, psh, who gives a fuck, dude? And it's cheaper, too. So, just letting you know, if you ever go to these parks, don't do it that way. Do it through Etsy. Not gonna lie, though. Some of the memes that came out of this were pretty good. Now, many claim that this was an honest mistake. Sorry. Well, that customers were at fault for misinterpreting... Mr. Strummer, I'm going to speak. Speaking of Disney, did you hear about the Kingdom Hearts cartoon leaking on Twitter? You mean the pilot episode? The pilot? Yeah, we watched it. First thing. Should have been here, chat. You gotta be here in the... At the beginning of the stream, bruh. Telling you. It's marketing. I disagree. All of the marketing shows other glass items. All of the mock-ups show something more akin to frosted glass than plastic. They give plenty of descriptions of the product. Looks too, good. And not once. Mr. Strummer, I'm going to speak. Cheer 200. If they can't be goofy, how does Kobe goofy every stream? And they were engaged the in a bunch of other I'm not going to answer. Fuckery as well. Before the product was even available, they flooded their own product reviews with a bunch of five stars. Bots. This raised some eyebrows, and people on Reddit even called them out for it. So they deleted. Family them. members. You can see all this activity on the Wayback Machine. Now, if they're happy to deceive uh, thank God people for the this Wayback way, machine. it seems silly to give them the benefit of the doubt about the glass. It's also worth quickly talking about the Bethesda merch store. Some of these items mm. are pretty neat. That's cool. Good idea. Oh, that's Not cute. That. <laughs> Good Fallout book. 76 pant. Singular. But why is he <laughs> so mad? The photography is all just slightly... Oh, that's cool. ...off. This gaudy jacket was mocked relentlessly on social media. 
But does the seven to <laughs> the IKEA bag? That's good. That was pretty good. Six in two hundred and seventy-six dollars really make it more immersive. And why did they just toss it on the ground? And it comes in this crumpled up toddler body bag. You're talking about hundreds of thousands of dollars in merch and you don't have an eye on? Why is she wearing the size XXL? She's clearly not happy about it. But who looked at this and said, good job, print. <laughs> now that's surprising. <laughs> and what the fuck? They made the bottle properly. Yeah, one of those please, but bigger and brown. Is that so hard? Let's get back to the game. December 2018. There are two new patches released that caused quite a stir. First, the good. For PC, they included a number of quality of life improvements, including push to talk. They didn't have that at the beginning? Are you serious? And field of view sliders. Hooray. Increased stash capacity from 400 pounds to 600 pounds and a small buff to automatic weapons. Hooray! They decreased the carry weight of bobby pins so it no longer took up 10 to 20% of people's inventory. I got a wow. box of bobby pins the other week that said, that said, weigh these. <laughs> <laughs> there were also upgrades funny. to the camp that allowed for easier construction and a bunch of bug fixes. Hooray! The bad. Oh God. A whole bunch of unannounced stealth nerfs. They generally made the game grindier. Emo production was decreased. Fusion cores burnt out faster. Legendary enemies spawned less frequently. On guard, I'll fuck you up. And <laughs> the chicken. Backlash was sick. Dude, didn't they do this shit in, uh, what's the, what's the EA game? What was the looter shooter in, for EA? They did this shit in e, with EA, I remember that. What was that called? It was like an open world MMO. Anthem, that's the one. Dude, I remember everyone was fucking pissed. They were pissed because apparently they found a way to be able to have like good loot, right? Good legendary like stuff and people were having fun actually getting all this good loot. And then the, the EA just nerfed it straight up. You can't do this anymore. What? Why? That's the whole point. It made it fun significant because everybody knew why Bethesda was doing it to encourage people to use the Mr. Strummer I'm going to speak what there's a lawyer I watch on YouTube who would only be upset about the rum he wouldn't care about the other stuff he would advise people not to buy stuff from them the only thing that would enrage him enough to go on his famous rants is the rum problem hey cool cool story bro I imagine you don't have to be a lawyer to be that upset though I would do the same. And let's talk briefly about that store. Some of the prices are outrageous. A Christmas tree for $12. A Santa outfit for $20. Blue and yellow paint for $18. Oh look, $3 for the same sweater vest and slacks item imported from Fallout 4. But the biggest offense of all was the holiday emote bundle. $24 for some Christmas themed emotes. Twice the price of these games. The media agreed that these were egregious prices. But worse, they're engaged in some deceiving marketing practices too. Oh, look, it's marked down half price. But it's not. Ah, it was released. The classic. Half price. They're artificially jacking up the price. You'd be surprised with how many companies do this shit, by the way. Discount in order to create a sense of urgency. Mm -hmm. That's illegal, here in Australia at least, in Canada, and in the EU. Reddit quickly picked up on this and pointed it out. Bethesda reacted by scrapping the discount and just setting it as the always intended price. Yep. Okay, it's been about 25 minutes of whining now, so I'm just going to leave it here. Yep. I didn't even get a chance to touch on the new pay-to-win fiasco. The new camera icon that lets you teleport, dwindling player numbers. But on the flip side, they're also adding new content and improving the game over time. Heck, No Man's Sky was a surprising comeback. So we gotta watch maybe that the one next. Can do it too. Just but for now, Todd returns to cryostasis. Hey, this is the Fallout 4. Yeah. Hiding in his bunker until the bombs of outrage stop falling, and returning only when it's time to get our hopes up. Once again, <laughs> Skyrim 2. 
Dude, they're doing that. They're doing it. It's been three years. Over three Dude. years. I I'm digging it. Uh, can we get a round of applause? That was beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful video. Round of applause, please. Applauso, applauso, applauso. That was sick, dude. I will say that uh, 100%, I cannot believe how bad Bethesda was for doing this shit.